Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to head into the city of Sydney to go and shoot some 35mm POV photography and I'm going to be aiming to get some reflections. Now, I don't own a 35mm prime and a 35mm prime would be ideal, but instead I'm going to be using the 16 to 35 I'm just keeping it at 35 mil. Most of the shots are at f2.8 to allow that natural light in. All of the photos are edited in my presets. There's a link in the description. There's also some uh, merch down in the description as well. Subscribe, notification bell so you get notified every time I do upload. And let's go and shoot. Okay, so the first shot that we're gonna get for this evening is gonna be this one here. I'm gonna come over to the left. We're in landscape, 35 mil, 200th of a second, f2.8, ISO 640. Oh, you're right, you're right. Sweet. Okay, so I've come to the phone box that that dude was just standing in to kind of use this as a bit of kind of focus and then get somebody walking in the background. So we've got some more people going through the frame with some blue umbrellas. It's pretty sick. We'll pull focus. Oh yeah, these are really sick. So more of having the, the raindrops in focus and then everybody else behind uh, kind of all silhouetted out. As I was taking that shot, there was a drip continuously tripping down my back. So now I'm mega cold. Okay, so we've headed down into the city and we're gonna see what, <laughs> see what else we can find. We're next to the Westfield Tower and there's just this frame here, which is really nice. Nice simplistic frame, change up the settings. F2.8, we'll go ISO 400, 60th of a second, sweet, and we shall move on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I've just walked on to this street, we've got some reds going on here, which is really nice. But then also you have this texture over here, which I think will be quite nice for a little bit of a, we'll go portrait. And I think if I can get somebody walking through the frame, We'll go just here, and the lights do kind of light up. Bit of a shame about the cars, which is a bit annoying. I might be able to push across when the cars kind of come to a stop. Let's push through there. Mm, maybe if I come to the left-hand side, and then shoot back towards it. Oh yeah, this could work quite nicely, because you've got the red reflection. I'm going for more of like a silhouette. So as they walk through like the lighting up there, they get like a shadow silhouette on the wall, which is actually quite nice. Kind of works. I think this is quite nice. Very simplistic. Maybe if I had somebody walking through, it'd look quite nice. Hundred of a second, ISO 640 F 2.8. And I'm just simply going to wait for somebody to walk through the frame and hopefully I don't get run over. And I think that worked quite nicely. Sick. Okay, we're going to keep looking for more kind of lines, more different colors and just wandering around looking at obviously because it stopped raining now. So it's actually really nice. Uh, and then I'm just going to get a shot of this dude. Just walking up the street, I think. And the reflection. So, this dude, just in the reflection here. Uh, Will, can you do me a favour? Can you step in it? Slowly? Yeah, step in it, yeah. Like it. Okay, so coming to this kind of like shopping centre here, and I'm going to use that as a frame on the other side. The, uh, the perfect window, that's really sick. Just getting the people going through there, hopefully. And I'm just trying to use the, the glass as a frame which has worked quite nicely. That one on the screen that you can see is probably my favorite out of all of them. There is also like the gowing sign, which is just over here. I'll show you it. So this is the gowing sign. Now, if we go back in here, 
and then shoot back through the window you can kind of see it coming through which is quite a nice shot I'm going to tap to focus this is the shot that I'm looking at we've come up to George Street now and we'll um, look for some reflections there is a reflection here which look pretty sick with the same sign so similar to what we just got but we're just going to get the reflection here I'm thinking as somebody walks through the frame that look pretty that's gonna look awesome I think at 35 minutes is pretty difficult to get but if I take a step back and just wait for somebody to walk into that frame we shouldn't take too long because I'm in George Street this is the frame so you've got the the puddle the lights the reflection over there as well and I'm just waiting for somebody to walk through the frame over that side. I'm at 125th of a second, f2.8, ISO 1250. ISO 1250. Okay, so we've got people coming towards me now. Daddy, I actually think. That's worked really well. Planning shot. I don't know if I got that, but hopefully I did. Porsche going for the frame. Might have been a good panning shot there. I mean, that was it. 100th of a second, F2.8 ISO 400. Um, we're just gonna head down towards like Chinatown area. Okay, so there's a really nice frame here with the, the neon lights for in Chinatown area. I'm just thinking if we can get somebody walking through the frame here, it'll look really nice. I'm just going to have to keep on talking because there's music that's playing in the background and I'm going to get copyrighted if I uh, don't keep talking. So I'm just seeing somebody walking towards me. I'm hoping they're going to walk through the frame and I'm just going to try and get them walking through that light there, which looks really nice, walking through it. I got one in landscape and one in uh, portrait, which turned out pretty good. We're going to go look for some more lights, more reflections, and see what else we can get. Okay, so another frame here with the phone box. The difference with this one is that I'm going to pull focus onto the phone itself through the glass. And then I'm going to wait for somebody to walk through the frame in the background. But I doubt it's going to happen anytime soon. Sick. Only joking, we're gonna be waiting ages, so I got Will to walk through the frame instead, just to just to emulate the the shot that I wanted to get, and also it shows you the, the frame I was going for. Uh, I'm just gonna come onto the road here and just get like it's actually a really nice frame. We're at a hundredth of a second, f2.8. ISO 400. Nice. Okay, so we get one in uh, landscape and this dude in front of me with a neon sign, which looks pretty sick. Here's the right thing. Oh, fucking dreams. Look at this. I want the red light in it. Nice. We're going to push back down this way. We're going to kind of sat down. Okay, rain's coming down. This might be quite a nice shot. It's quite dark. If I can get the light coming from the left hand side. Oh, some added light. This is definitely this is definitely pure street photography. <laughs> Getting some lighting assistance. Wow, that must be alien. That's crazy. Jeez. Good night, bro. 
No, no, no worries, it's fine. Almost killed us, but there, it's fine. Now, apart from nearly dying by being hit by a bus, everything was pretty good and I enjoyed going out and shooting the rain. Now, at first I found it a little bit difficult to get into the flow and sometimes it does take a moment to get your eye and get the feel. And what I was aiming for is those reflections. I wanted to find those reflections, even in places you wouldn't normally typically get a reflection because reflections don't have to be clean. They don't have to be a direct mirror of what you're shooting, but they can insinuate the, the frame. This shot that I got here is exactly that. I wanted to insinuate the photograph, but with that kind of non-focus, out of focus vibe, which I really, I really enjoyed. Over the coming weeks and months, I'm gonna be doing more types of different POVs. And if you would like to suggest some gear, suggest a camera setup that you'd like me to try, it doesn't have to be the most perfect setup. It could be weird, it could be a random camera, it could be an old, phone, whatever you want to suggest, throw it in the comments and I will go out and I'll try and see what we can achieve. Some of them will be terrible, but we'll work with what we have. And the idea is to just to show you that you don't always need the most expensive gear. Now, again, I would have preferred a 35 mil prime for this shoot, maybe like a Sigma F 1.4 or even just the basic 35 mil F 1.8 from Sony themselves. But there's a ton out there, especially secondhand uh, lenses, and they are relatively cheap. We're gonna have a look at the hashtag optical wonder over on Instagram where you can show me the content you're creating and in turn inspire me and inspire others around the world. Okay, we're gonna throw a screen record on and we are on the hashtag optical wonder. We're up to 587,000 posts and we're gonna go to the most recent and just pick a couple that catch my eye. Uh, we will go with this panning shot of somebody drifting which looks incredible. I love the framing of the BMW and we'll go with this one here. Capturing yourself, taking a photo with a train moving past is incredible. If you do want to get featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag optical wonder. You just throw it in your caption when you're uploading to Instagram. And any suggestions, drop it down in the comments. With all that being said, create more, stress less, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. This is the last 20 seconds of the video. You can either go and watch this video here or you can, you can click this one. I would probably suggest going to watch this one and then maybe if you're bored, you can go and watch this one. You can also press the subscribe button and that means you'll get uh, notified when I do upload videos like this and uh, it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me. So no cost for you, helps me win-win.